Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be ranting just a little bit. So for about a year now, I've been trying to get rid of my mouse. And I'm not talking about like throwing it away and not having it anymore. I just mean transitioning to the point where I can just use my keyboard as my method of input on my computer. And what I've found is that it's annoyingly hard to do it. And really, my workflow is such that for the most part, I can do it. But there are just usually these certain points throughout the day that I get to where I have to reach for the mouse. Or I just reach for it out of habit. And I'll talk about that before I end of the video, if I remember. So really, what I've done is I've transitioned completely to tiling window managers. Now, originally I did this just because it was the in thing to do, right? It's r slash unix porn everybody uses the tiling window manager that's what i do so uh, you know i just decided to go through and you know follow the herd and over the time i've fallen in love with tiling window managers i've tried pretty much all of them uh, i've done videos on quite a few of them and they're great uh, even if i weren't in this mad dash to get rid of my mouse i'd still like tiling window managers even if i was just continue to you know use my mouse just like a normal person. So I've done that and that that has helped me quite a bit in the quest to get rid of my mouse because you use your keyboard most of the time to navigate through your workspaces and your, through your windows and stuff. But the one place that I've completely failed at eliminating my mouse use is in the browser. About six months ago, I found a plugin that's called Vim, Vimeo, Vim, Vimy. I don't know what it's called. I'll put a link in the video description of what I actually use. But basically what it does is it gives you Vim style key bindings in your browser. So you can go through and do a lot of the stuff that you can do in Qt browser in something like Firefox or Chromium or whatever. You can use, you know, O to open things, B to get into your bookmarks, uh, F to get to navigate through links, and HJKL to navigate through the page itself. It's really good. And that also allowed me to go through and eliminate more of my mouse use. But there are certain things that just still can't be done very well. So if you go to a website like YouTube and you want to navigate around just using your keyboard and using this Vim plugin, it has so many links on it, you can't actually do that because they're a lot of them are so close together that you can't, you know, differentiate between what link is which. So that's annoying. So that's one point where I have to reach for a mouse. But there are other things like I'm one of those people who still use Facebook. I mean, it's just whatever. It is what it is. And Facebook's the same way as YouTube. There's so many links on it that if you try to navigate using the F key binding to, you know, let me actually let me show you what it, what I mean. So this is Odyssey, but if I go to YouTube here and I press the F key, as you can see, I get a whole bunch of little flags. I can, you know, press EJ to go follow this link up here. So EJ will follow the Linux link and that'll give me all the links videos. Uh, if I want if I want to, um, I don't know, click on a video or something, I would uh, press F again and do uh, DP to click on Tech Hut's video here. And this is actually short, which is funny. <laughs> Hi, Tech Hut. Uh, if I want to go to my channel or go to YouTube Studio, this is where things fall down. So if you look in the upper, so I'm using my mouse, if you look up here, you can see these links up here are overlapping. So which one do I choose? So if I choose DF, that that was actually the right one. But if I if I messed up and choose AD, I think that's what this is. AD. No, that was the wrong one. See, it, I don't know. It's really weird. There are certain places on this page that the method of you know getting the links falls down, and that's not a YouTube problem because YouTube is expecting you to navigate with a mouse. Because the same thing happens, I believe, here, in certain places. Actually, it's not as bad here. Well, kind of up here, it is. See, you can see these here, they, they overlap. That's just a, you know, a one link. The rest of them seem to be fairly separate. But the point is, 
there's still parts where I have to reach for my mouse out of necessity. And that's not a great feeling. But the worst part is, is that even after a year of trying to get rid of it and trying to overcome these weird, you know, idiosyncrasies on web pages and trying to find new tools that make it better, my habit's still not broken. And whether that's because I still have to reach for it every once in a while out of necessity, or if it's because the muscle memory is just so... I mean, I've been using a mouse and a keyboard, a mouse with my keyboard ever since I learned to use a computer back in elementary school on a Mac. Like It was probably a Mac 2, or it was one of the weird boxy looking ones. I don't know. They were all weird boxy looking ones. I mean, you learn, you play... Uh, Oregon Trail, right? I mean, even that, even then, even in a text-based game, you use the mouse, you know, for something. It was the it was one of the original uh, computers that had a graphical user interface. A mouse was the thing. It was that weird box, weird like trapezoidal looking mouse that had like one gigantic button on it. God, that was so long ago. I'm so old. Yes. Uh, so um, the point is, I still have these problems, you know, the habits that have been ingrained in me for, fuck, 30 years. <laughs> I mean, ever since I used the computer for the first time, I've had a computer in the house since the year 2000, which is 21 years ago. And even before that, I was using computers in school, like old gateway models or whatever, and we were using Netscape and... Alta Vista was our search engine, you know? I've used a mouse for all that time, and I think a lot of people are like that. And to transition away from that is just really, really hard. So, my overall point is, is that you can't get rid of your mouse. At least, I can't get rid of my mouse. And I'm having a hard time with it, because I really want to. I want to use my keyboard completely, because I don't have a lot of room in my office here. And the desk I have has like a slide out keyboard tray thing. And it's like, you know, not very big. I've downsized, downsized the, the my keyboard. I'm down to a 75% keyboard. I've tried smaller ones and I can't do it. I, like I tried to go to a 60 and without the dedicated arrow keys, I just can't do it. I, I use the arrow keys all the time. I understand I'm, I'm supposed to be a Vim user, but sue me. I still like the arrow keys. I can't help it. And maybe that maybe after I've finally jettisoned the mouse, I can work on jettisoning, you know, getting rid of the arrow keys. Uh, that, that that's the next self improvement that I'll I'll handle. Uh, but I I I have this small space, and I want to get rid of the mouse pad because I, then I can move the keyboard a little bit, and then be more center onto the screen. I won't be looking at the screen, typing like this or trying to type like this when I'm looking at the other screen. It's annoying AF. So. I told you this was going to be a ranty video. I can't help it. So, in the comments below, let me know your adventures with getting rid of the mouse. Is it something that you want to do? Is it something you've been successful at doing? How? If if so, I want to know how. So, uh, I love our conversations. Make sure you're, sure you're follow us on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. With that in mind, I'd like to thank our current patrons, Devon, Zach, Marcus, Merrick, and Camp. Thanks for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching this crazy, crazy video. I'll see you next time.